We move from baseball to the lakes. Paul Nelson is back and better than ever with this week's fishing tip. This week we're going to talk about live bait containers and the new restrictions on water so that you're not able to add any lake water from the lake into your bait. So you have to be self-contained, bring well water with you. There's a lot of different aerated bait containers where you can buy the right size for what you're trying to do. I usually use a bigger one for the minnows and a smaller one for my leeches. You end up using a lot of batteries on that. I use the cheapest alkali batteries that I can find. I usually find that it doesn't pay to buy the more expensive ones. I get about 20 to 24 hours in those. I keep the fresh ones in my minnows and I actually put the ones as they're winding down. I'll put those on my leeches because leeches can survive better than minnows. So if the batteries are going to die out, I put them in my smaller leech container. I also made a big mistake and I tried some rechargeable batteries, paid quite a bit for them. They lasted four hours and I found out afterwards that those batteries are completely different. They're not made for high output things like an aerator on a battery or on the pumps on the aerators. So don't make the same mistake I did. The rechargeables are great. I like to be as green as anybody, but for a high output situation like that, they're not the answer. Cheaper alkali batteries work best. But some of the things that you're trying to do with those bait containers too is that you need to bring some extra water with you. I'll start out with some minnows in my bucket and leeches and then I'll put an oxygen bag or two of minnows in my bait well on top of a couple of uh, plastic jugs that I filled with water and put ice in them. That way I can add minnows as I run out of minnows so I get a little fresh water from that and then I can use those ice containers and, and as the water melts add fresh water from the well so I'm not adding anything from the lake. That's the way I do it. You can figure out a system for yourself, but somehow you got to figure out how to deal with live bait and the new water restrictions. This has been the Fishing Tip of the Week, and I'm Paul Nelson from the Bemidji Area Lakes Guide Service. If you have a question you'd like to ask Paul Nelson for him to answer on the Fishing Tips segment, post that question to our Lakeland News Facebook page. Of course, also if you've caught any fish recently this summer, I'm sure a lot of you have, post the fish to the Lakeland News Facebook page. Yep. We'll show it to you, everyone else on the, the sports cast. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.